Hey y'all, so this video is all about getting a VR or XR headset up and running as fast as possible in Unity. I'm going to do this in the Unity 6 beta that's out there for anyone to use. The version is not particularly important as long as you're on LTS or, or more recent than that, you should be good to go. I am going to put on Universal 3D as the type of project that we're doing. And I will call this XR interactive demo. We're going to be using the interactive toolkit and the meta quest three as the headset. All right. So we are now in the project. I'm going to go to windows package manager. Um, you'll notice this looks a little bit different than what you, you tend to see if you haven't been in unity six yet. Um, some really nice quality of life improvements within how everything is laid out, uh, especially inside of the package manager. So I'm going to click on Unity Registry. I'm going to type in XR and I'm going to grab the XR Interaction Toolkit and grab the currently released version. And now that we have the Interaction Toolkit installed in this project, which we can go back to in project just to verify that we see it. Um, here it is. If we needed to, we could get in here and do some samples, um, like getting into the hands interaction demo, uh, et cetera. Some other things in here for now, I'm just going to get you up and running with the headset, working with controllers. We'll get back into this if needed in a future video. So I'm going to exit out and go into edit project settings. And now that we're here, I'll be able to click on XR plugin management. And it looks like we want, let's do the one right above it actually, that does not have the drop down. So I'm going to go to this XR plugin management and say, install XR plugin management, which should then have one of these disappear and populate the options that I have within the XR plugin management item that is remaining. So you can see one has gone away. Uh, it's now populated this with what I need uh, because I'm using the MetaQuest three. Um, there's a thought process to using the Oculus plugin, but I'm going to just use OpenXR so that if I want to, uh, pivot and use this with a desktop headset or other types of headsets, I have that flexibility to do so. So I've now clicked on OpenXR and luckily it's just going to be a few more simple clicks and then we'll be able to get into our headset and test this out. So it's popped up with three errors. Uh, one of them is at least one interaction profile must be added. Fair enough. Another is switch to use input system .xr pose control. And the last one is switch to use stick control thumbsticks instead of vector two control. Luckily, I just have a fix all button. So I'm going to click that, which will fix the two that have a fix next to them. And then we'll be left with the edit button. You'll see down here that it says, uh, Actually, you won't see that because it's right behind where uh, my camera is sitting on the screen, but there is a compiling scripts window in the bottom right. So it's currently working through that for me and it's fixing the issues that I have. Now I can just click edit here. And what it's asking me to do is come in here and designate an enabled interaction profile. So I'm going to hit the plus button. And I'm going to do the Meta Quest Touch Pro controller profile. Uh, if we were getting into things like uh, like hands and whatnot, I would need to select some of the features below. Um, but for the time being, we're going to be good with just that. Inside of project validation, you can see that we no longer have any errors. And we're all good aside from that. OK, so what I would like to do from here is come back into the package manager and I'm just going to grab the sample scene. So starter assets, I'm going to go ahead and click import. Um, you could have done this earlier. The order that I'm doing this in is not necessary. And now that that's going to pull in, I'm now going to have a template. Uh, this does say one thing here needs to be fixed. So I'm going to go ahead and fix that all good. And now within the interaction toolkit within this version, I can double click the starter assets folder, open up the demo scene. And now we're in a position to where we can test this with our headset. So the easiest way to do that 
is, uh, I believe it's called the meta link or the quest link. Um, but essentially within the meta software window, uh, the first thing is I want to go into settings, general, and enable unknown sources so that this can run on the headset from the editor here. And then I also want to set up the quest link and make sure that it's working, uh, which you'll do in the headset. I've already set mine up, so I won't be able to uh, really demonstrate how to do that. However, when you go into the headset, I'll point out where you need to click on the button to then set it up. So let's jump over to the headset and I'll show you how to actually test this out. All right, so from here, I'm gonna go ahead and record a video uh, as a five second aside to record a video in the Quest 3. You'll click on the camera button, come up here and start a recording. I'll go ahead and exit out of that, go into my quick settings. And here is Quest Link and where you will set this up if you've not before. Mine is already set up and I'm using Air Link, meaning it doesn't need to be plugged in for me to use this feature. And now I'm going to hit launch. Uh, once you've launched, it's worth noting if you're doing anything with hands uh, and hand tracking, it doesn't work in this lobby menu of AirPlay or Quest Link. Um, let me do desktop and monitor one. And now we're looking at the Unity editor. I'm gonna go ahead and hit play and it's going to pop us over into the scene. And from here, we should see that our controllers are working. The materials are loading in and I can teleport around and let's say we want to see how each of these things works. So there's particle system. So all of these are built as samples for you to come in here and play with. And let's hop over to a couple more. So we have dynamic attach, single fixed attach, And you can see how each of these interactions work. And then we have dual fixed attached. So some really cool things there. And then let's come over here and look at the options here. So we have some buttons that we can select, some highlights, some sliders, a drop down, toggle, and looking at text over here. Last thing that we can do is I'll jump over this way and using the, the side uh, triggers here or the grips, I can then crawl around this wall. Let's say I jump over here and want to climb up the ladder. We can do that next. And we're going to be right here. So now I'm on top. I can move around with the left stick. So this is the sample scene. And once you have your headset working with Quest Link in the AirPlay mode or the AirLink mode, um, it's a breeze. It's super easy to use. And hopefully this tutorial has gotten you to where you need to get to at least have your headset working. See some really basic interactions that you can repurpose, retool for your own interactive scenes. And thanks for watching. Have a great day. Like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.